they did do something and that uh, I think is coming out new. I don't know if you guys have experienced this yet. And this is the second time of me doing it. I've been, I've been meaning to talk about it on the show. I was actually going to talk about it a couple weeks ago and I forgot. <laughs> I had it on my list and I forgot. But um, that is The Last Last Dance. The Last Last Dance. Now, if you're not familiar what this is, I don't know where this came from. It's just out of nowhere. All of a sudden, I'm getting requests for it. Is the couple... They end the wedding after you play the last song, right? You end with the big hurrah, let's hear it for the new whatever, right? After that, they want all the guests to leave, they stay, and then they basically have a last, last dance just by themselves, just like in the middle of the dance floor, okay? Now, I'm not doing that for my wedding. I mean, it's not, you know, to me, I'll have the last, last dance in the hotel room, you know what I'm talking about? (laughs) But, you know, but it, it creates a moment or whatever, you know, they kind of, it, it, and it's never like the first dance song either, like at least with my experience, it's usually like a second, like their second choice of a first dance, like, you know, they had their first dance and then like whatever their second choice would have been, they usually use that as a slow song, you know, they, 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 they hold each other in the middle of the dance floor for the song and then they keep it pushing. Now, before I explain how to execute this, a couple little tips, you know, getting people out and all that. Um, I just will say that, you know, keep in mind, you're going to be staying 10, 15 minutes after the wedding's done. For me, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. It is what it is. You know what I mean? I'll just stay, make them happy and keep it pushing. But it can be inconvenienced. It can be an inconvenience because you can't pack up your stuff because you have to, you know, stay and do the last dance and play it and whatnot. So you really kind of just, you're staying 10 minutes over time, essentially. So some of you might want not want to do that, might want to charge extra. So I kind of recommend maybe planning for this sort of thing, you know, making sure you know about it ahead of time, maybe have a, you know, option on your menu for it or something. I don't know. That way you can kind of get compensated or you can kind of figure it out that way. But for me, I don't know. I just do it. It doesn't matter to me. Um, but the major thing is, is you don't want to be there 20 minutes after 30 minutes after. Right. And that, and the only way that could happen is if the guests don't leave. And that's like the main part, you got to get everybody out that way you can have the moment and then you can dip. Right. Same thing with the venue. The venue wants to get out of there, everything. So you're helping everybody out by making this as seamless as possible. So I'm going to give you guys some tips on this, getting the people out. Okay. Number one, when you want a crowd to leave, you got to give them a reason. Hear me out. When you want the crowd to leave, you got to give them a reason. There are shuttles outside, okay? That's a reason. Shuttles outside, make sure you, you whatever, you know, get, get your shuttle to the back to the hotel room. An after party, and now it's an after party, a reason to leave. You want to keep this party going, after parties over there, across the street, whatever, right? They're giving out free iPads in the parking lot. Gives them a reason, okay? Now, that's more of my, like, you know last resort attempt to get people out. I used to say it in clubs back in the day. You know what I mean? If I was trying to get everybody out real quick. All right, they're giving away out free iPads in the parking lot, free iPads in the parking lot for the first hundred people. Get out there now. Get out there now. <laughs> some some drunk person believed me, right? And they run out. But regardless, you got to give them a reason to leave, okay? That way they get out single file as fast as possible. You're dealing with drunk people here. Number two, let them know. Don't forget your things, okay? This sounds stupid. It's almost something that like, you know, your, your teacher at school would say or something, but it is really, really important because if they forget something, they're going to come back for it. And now let's say you're having that last, last dance moment. Let's say the couple's out on the dance floor. They're having the moment, look into each other's eyes, just slowly, just moving, just, just, oh, just, ah, oh, they're just letting it all sink in. They're so in love. And then you got some drunk guy coming back for his, for his wife's jacket or something. Oh, I forgot this. Sorry. And you ruined the whole moment. So when I make this announcement, hey, go get your shuttle or whatever, I always say, make sure you grab all your things and then head outside to the shuttle, right? I say, grab all your things first. I remind them. Because again, they're drunk. They could forget. I don't want to mess up this last, last dance moment. And number three is turn the lights on bright. Um, I guess you do this first. Maybe this should be one. Now that I think about it out loud, regardless, you want the lights up bright. If you have up lights or, you know, anything like that you brought, turn them to full blast. And I always, no matter what the color of the up lights were at the end of the night, when I'm done, I turn them to white and full blast. It's like a sobering parties over kind of thing. People start moving out. If you don't have lights or regardless, even if you do, I still also recommend going to the venue and saying, Hey, listen, turn your lights up. They'll probably do it on their own. You turn all the lights up, right? Let's people know the party's over and to keep it pushing. You keep the lights dim, people hang out, talk, whatever, and you're never going to get this done and you're going to end up staying a half hour late or whatever. So keep these things in mind. This is a new trend that's happening. Um, 
Because I got, I've done two, and I got several other requests for it. I don't remember how many, but there were several other requests. People have been mentioning it in meetings and stuff like that. So it's definitely a thing. So be prepared, DJs. Be prepared. <laughs>